in this Tyler Fantasy Guide video, I'm going to show you how to start collecting actual armor or gear for your character and not just for your weapon, how to make that gear stronger and how to get more powerful pieces. If you're new here and need more guides like this one, please subscribe to this channel and turn notifications on. I stream this game most of the time and it would be really nice if you stopped by and said what's up or even joined our growing community. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, to start collecting actual gear for your character, like headgear, chest protector, leggings, stuff like that, that you would normally start getting right away in any other MMORPG, you need to first level your character up. Starting at level 20, you'll be able to begin collecting weapon matrices so you can enhance the power of your weapons with chips that fit into each of the four slots. Five levels later, at level 25, you will unlock the option for character equipment. This includes armor slots for head, shoulders, chest, arms, hands, waist, legs, and feet. A lot of pieces, I know, but it's okay though. The devs for this game thought of us and thought ahead to ease our grind for gear enhancement. I'll tell you what I mean in just a second, but first let me tell you how to get this gear. Now, as most of you probably know by now, there is no shortage of content in this game. There are numerous missions and challenges, side quests, and extra bosses, along with various other achievements that grant rewards. So you will always have a way to get what you want and what you need. For gear, there are a few options. The first and most basic way of getting gear is to take part in joint operations. Joint operations are four-man dungeons where you can spend your daily vitality to open up to three chests in each joint operation run. Each joint operation is different and offers different rewards, so if it's gear you're looking for, check the reward for the joint operation to see if the equipment is among the list of rewards. Deep Sea Stronghold 2 joint operation was where I first got my significant drop of character gear. This operation was made available to me at level 25. Each joint operation grants different pieces of gear, so you may have to wait until a certain day to farm for a specific piece of gear you're looking for. Or you can choose option 2. When you click on the weekly adventure and choose the select button or select option where you can choose joint operations, dimensional trials, and interstellar exploration, on the bottom left hand corner of that window you'll see a pinned icon with a currency next to it. This is your crystal dust. So right around this time, level 25, your options for purchases in the Crystal Dust store will change and you'll get the chance to buy equipment boxes. They are cheap and with one box you can get one piece of equipment. So my suggestion to you is once you do hit level 25 or higher, do every mission or game mode that shows character equipment among the rewards and collect all the equipment that you can and then once you're out of vitality, see what type of equipment you're missing and then get it from the Crystal Dust store. Other game modes that get you gear so far aside from drone operations are Ruins with a level requirement higher than 25 and Frontier Clash which becomes available at level 39. Gear like most things in this game comes in different tiers, Normal, Rare, Super Rare and SSR. The quality of gear you get is locked behind level progression, which on the outside looks like it might be costly to level up so many pieces of gear every time you level up, but like I said earlier, the devs thought about that and made it a little easier. You enhance your gear by selecting an individual piece in your backpack and choosing the enhance option. This brings you to an enhance screen where you can see all of your gear and each piece's level. To enhance gear, you'll need booster modules, a lot of them. Luckily, they drop pretty frequently as rewards, but if you need more, you can also use Crystal Energy to purchase them from the Crystal Energy store. When you get a new tier of gear, you'll have the option of retaining your old gear's level type so if you have maxed out a gray chest protector but now have a normal or even a rare chest protector, you can keep the same level of your weaker gear and transfer that to your newer piece. When a piece of equipment gets level 5, it will require a second enhancement material, advanced modules, which are also purchasable in the Crystal Energy store. At the same time, you can also raise the quality of each individual equipment piece up to 2 stars which will make the gear stronger and raise your CS. Enhancing your equipment raises your CS or combat score. The higher your combat score, the better off you'll be in dungeons and raids that require your level to be a certain rank. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. For more video guides like this, check my channel for Tower of Fantasy videos you may have missed. My name is Vinicius Sgn. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.